Let's welcome back star venture capitalist Rick Heitzman of First Smart Capital. It's good to see you. Welcome back. Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, very interesting to hear the co-founder yes. of DeepMind suggests we're in for a wave and it's not necessarily going to be one that's going to be easy to surf. So exactly. to speak. Do you agree? Uh, it'll, disagree? it'll be choppy. I think it's going to be fits and starts like any new technology revolution. People are going to be scared. People are going to wonder about what happens to jobs. People are about wonder about what happens to them. And then people are going to wonder about how, how do you make money from that. And all of those things in the early innings are very much up in the air. Mark Andreessen tweeted yesterday why AI will save the world. The era of AI is here. Boy, are people freaking out. He said, fortunately, I'm here to bring the good news. AI will not destroy the world and, in fact, may save it. So, you know, what, what do you make of what he says? Do you think the risks around it are being overstated? How do you view this as somebody like really connected in the in the tech? Yeah, universe. so we spend a lot of time on AI. We've been looking at investing in this sector for over a dozen years. And so I think he may be overstated what's going to happen. I'm not sure if it's going to save the world, but I think it's going to be a transformational technology. You know, 20 years ago, we said software and digitization is going to change every industry. And that's happened. Now, the next 20 years is going to be AI and whether it's existing companies changing their business models around that fundamental technology or new technologies being formed. So I know exactly what's happening now with you and other VCs in the Valley and otherwise coast to coast, whatever. Phones be beating down the door, calling you up. I got this great company and it's all about AI and we're going to do this, that and the other thing and it's going to change the world. And you say what? How are they going to change the world? I mean, we, going back to the software analogy, we like software that did jobs. We like software that really created productivity. We invest in a lot of AI companies that are doing the same thing. What's the return on investment? What's the job that the artificial intelligence is doing? And it's not a science project. It's a job. It's, a, it's actually you're buying something or you're selling something that's really going to be transformational. And we're seeing companies doing that. We're seeing companies are scaling very quickly, selling generative AI. We're seeing companies doing work flow artificial intelligence that are powering other applications and we're seeing some really transformational stuff even in the early innings leads to the inevitable questions as to whether AI everything under the sun is meant to bubble in a part of the market I want you to listen to what Brad Gerstner told us out in California as well on that very question now in 1999 are there real comparisons greatest disservice we could do to for investors right, whether you're playing at home or whether you're a professional investor, is to compare this moment to 1999. In 1999, you had valuations of make-believe revenue and profits. It was the promise of what may come. We had 30 million people connected to the internet via broadband, right? It was a tiny fledgling industry without real businesses, without real free cash flow, and it was trading at dramatically higher multiples. You want to take that on? Sure. I, I think it's going to be similar to 99 in that there'll be some speculative companies, there'll be some real companies. You know, there was companies that were selling books on the Internet in 1999 that turned out OK. And there's a lot of companies that went away. The same thing's going to happen now. There was companies in the 20s when TV came around. Some of those companies went bankrupt. Some of them became the biggest companies in the world. You're going to see the same transformation now um, by both incumbents and as well as new company formation. Does it feel right now like a bubble to you or just excitement, hype, in some cases justified? You know, the, the valuation differences now between now and let's say 99, Yahoo is like 600 times yep. forward earnings. So we're seeing even the generative AI companies, which is the, you know, the, the most, most hyped of, of that hype cycle within AI, you know, still trading at, you know, 10 to 30 times revenue. So very heady multiples by any any estimate, but not 600. And and growing at a pace where they could grow into those multiples over time, you are seeing the specula speculators who are saying, I have two guys who worked at Google, they're going to think about a project and they need $100 million. And I think that's where people might get uh, a little bit overly excited. But we're seeing enough companies doing solving real problems, doing real jobs that we're excited about. You always help us better understand all of this. That's why I enjoy talking to you. Thanks for being here again. Thank you. That's First Mark's Rick Heitzman.